Hello, Twin Cities Church. We thought we would uh, give you another video. So we are back by popular demand. Uh, you've seen the post about the classes that we're looking to, uh, to offer here coming up for the church. We're really excited about those. We're looking to, you know, this Wednesday night having the building really presents a lot of fun opportunities for us to expand our class offerings and to offer again some of our familiar class offerings. And so like you saw online, we're, we're looking to start offering three different tracks of classes. Um, an introductory track, which would incorporate a lot more of the question of Christianity, introductions to the Bible, introduction to the church and the TCC, a maturing track, which would be uh, shorter classes that would be coming out of our house church studies, and then the advanced studies track, which would be what we have always been doing as a church, but our leadership development courses and things like that. Um, and so I wanted to ask George just to kind of maybe explain for us all a little bit, because it's the first class that we're going to offer on Wednesday night for adults is one of these maturing mm -hmm. classes. Um, just to kind of explain a little bit of, of why you feel like it's a good thing to be adding this level of class, um, kind of what the vision is behind these classes, why we're doing them, and what people can expect. Sure. Yeah, we, uh, you know, over the years, we have um, always had uh, subjects come up in our house churches of, of topics and subjects that people wanted to dig down deeper on that were really critical to uh, continuing to grow and mature in the faith. So things like parenting and marriage, uh, you know, these kinds of things have, have, have always come up. So as we've thought about, um, you know, expanding our classes because we now have the opportunity and space to, we thought we would uh, create this um, line of classes, the maturing track, that would address those so that they'd always be options for uh, people to take without necessarily waiting for you know a, one of the book studies to get over in the house church, um, and uh, and to, to keep more options open and be able to address some of these things in a, in a more you know, efficient and quicker option <laughs> to yeah be honest yeah absolutely because sometimes it is hard you know all of these topics all these things are in the house church studies but those right. tend to take it can take years right. if you're going to get through all of them That's right. so it does seem like to be able to offer a lot of those themes as cl individual classes themselves not looking to they don't replace the house church studies correct by any right. means um but rather as a supplement or as a help to the maturing efforts that are going on in the house churches yeah, and, and also I think that, you know, sometimes we would like to study something that might be particular to where we're at in our own lives or our family's lives, but maybe not necessarily be appropriate or timely for everybody in the house church. So it allows some flexibility in that way as well for, for people in the church to take uh, a focused, short track um, on a subject that they want to grow in without necessarily taking the whole entire house church through it. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and so, yeah, and that's a lot of the vision of these courses. They'll be ideally, you know, in that four week range, mm -hmm. they'll be shorter, uh, a little more user friendly, not a lot of homework, but a little bit more of a, you, you can show up on a Wednesday, you can commit to this shorter amount of time. There'll be childcare offered at the same time as this class. Yep. Um, and you can kind of work through some of these deeper uh, topics. And the first one, right, George, we're planning to offer is Mission of God. You want to describe a little bit of what this first uh, this first run is going to look like. Yeah, so the uh, you know we hit it a few times in our Colossians and Ephesians studies. This this bigger picture of what God is doing to advance the gospel and establish churches, um, but we really haven't had a a, a study uh, that focuses on that that really helps us understand the the bigger picture of God's eternal work, what He's now doing through the Holy Spirit. To advance the gospel and establish and multiply churches and so that's really what we want to take a look at here on this on this first uh, maturing track um, you know the spirits work to fulfill the purposes of God fulfill the mission that God has had really for forever uh, and and focusing on what what our role is now as as individuals as households as a local church in the midst of of the expansion of the gospel globally. It's gonna be pretty exciting about it. Yeah, so who all should um, should take this class? Oh, who all should take it? I would say anyone should take it that is an adult in the church that would like to 
grow in their understanding yeah. of what it means to be a, what the mission of God is, yeah. how the Holy Spirit is a part of that, how the local church is a part of that, and how we as individuals uh, will fit into that. So there, you know, there's a there's a we have some big picture things, but we also zero in on a few characters to show how individuals uh, fit into that role. So uh, I think pretty much it's open to anybody that would would like to take it. Absolutely, yeah. and that's kind of the vision of these these maturing classes as well. That they're they're really open to everybody in the church mm -hmm. and even outside of the church. Absolutely, if there are people in our lives or in our spheres who would benefit from a study that would be short and would go over these topics. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So this this coming Wednesday will be the first one we're going to offer. So the mission of God. Yeah, is and I, I think that the format's going to be a little bit different as yeah. well. We're all used to you know readings and homework and projects, and we really don't want to take away from the work that people are doing in their house churches. So what these classes are going to be, we're going to spend about half the time probably in some sort of a, a lecture interaction, and then spend the the second half of the class on. You know, there's questions and discussions and clarifications and, you know, have more of, a, of an open time there with probably not a lot of homework, maybe a reading now and then, but not anywhere close to the type of work that we're doing regularly in the right. house church study. Or in those advanced studies. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And, th and that, again, you know, kind of going back to a lot of the things, you know, that we're, we're looking to improve on in the church right now, just being more intentional, mm -hmm. being more um, accessible, accessible yeah. and specific and practical. Practical, that's right, right. to right. kind of really be able to meet the needs of the church yep. and to meet the needs of the culture and the world and to provide these types of opportunities. So Those are the goals. Yeah, this is going to be exciting. So look for more information about uh, this coming Wednesday. We're going to have our first maturing track class. Uh, we probably won't be able to start up the advanced study classes or a lot of those introductory classes till the fall. Right. Um, but, but starting now and through the summer, we'll be offering those maturing classes on Wednesday nights here for for all the adults. So if you're interested, uh, look for more information on the Realm about that. Uh, there's no need to RSVP or right. register for the class. Just show up. Uh, it'll be here in the main room. Uh, you won't miss it.